Hey YouTubers, I hope you're enjoying the content. Now before everyone starts watching this video, especially if you're really interested in watching this video, I want everyone to go down to the description section below, hit that link, and go subscribe to Kihokai1994. The guy makes some really awesome content, including a series based solely around these particular side stories with all the other Dragon Ball characters. So if you want to see more of this stuff, please make sure to go check him out. But with that being said, guys, hope you enjoy the video. What's up, guys? Kyoka1994 here today to talk to you about anything. You guessed it, Dragon Ball, from ball to Z and everything in between. And today, furthering the trend of Dragon Ball side stories on my channel, I want to talk to you guys about a dynamic duo of two children I want to see adventures shown about and really, really will enjoy myself personally. To help me dive in and hash out these ideas in today's video, I will be introducing back to the channel a very, very special guest, the man of many speculations and theories, and a very good friend of mine, Mark from Real Real Productions. What's up, Mark? How you doing today, man? What is, what's up? What's up? Thanks for having me back on the channel, and this is probably the best thing to put me back on the channel for. I love Goten and Trunks. Not that you already said that, but they saw the title, they probably saw the thumbnail. Let's get into this, man. What is up? See spoiler warning for the future as well there have only i guess i won't say the other one but there's only two of these videos that like i started off with with the ideas and i was like okay that one's specifically going to be mark on that one and <laughs> i will call him again and we will record this one because these two have his name on it mm -hmm. but uh if you guys haven't subscribed to Mark yet, I'm going to leave his link in the description below so that you can get over to his channel and hit his sub button. He does daily amazing content and is always putting out quality, quality theories on the show. Now, a lot of theories people will just call headcanon and don't make any sense, but Mark actually, like, you know, dives into it and, like, <laughs> writes chapters about the stuff. So, it, I mean, everything always comes out pretty solid in, in most cases that I've seen, but today I really wanted to talk about some of the most controversy starting signs in the universe, and that's Goten and Trunks, and what we want to see come from them in the future. Now, we've seen a very weird point in Dragon Ball Super where they're not getting any older, and we also see that they are hanging out a lot. Now, they, hang out, they hung out a lot in Dragon Ball Z, but they didn't really dive into things like that. Uh, for the whole run of Super, they've kind of just been buddy-buddy, play around, hey, let's actually go train, we're into this, let's do our own little side thing, and that's the point that I kind of make in all of these, is when there's a time lapse, it's perfect to insert a little bit of filler. Now, a lot of people won't like filler, and that's probably why a lot of people like Dragon Ball Kai. I love Dragon Ball Kai personally, but you know how they like it, no filler. But that's what I want to see, is more and more filler but in manga form so that you know you get to read and see like a beautiful art and appreciate a manga for like what it actually is now an anime adaptation of a manga is beautiful in its own but reading the words on the page and seeing the drawings that the artist did himself and put blood sweat and tears not saying the animation of cartoons isn't the same way but just seeing it for me personally makes me a lot happier so Personally, I want to see the adventures of Goten and Trunks, and through these little time lapses, start to see little bits and parts of things they do. Like in Super, they had Goten and Trunks go get the toilet water for, you know, Videl and her throw it on her face and be happy that these kids did such a fun thing for her that she has no idea about to bring her ordinary water from, like, a hot spring to throw on her face. But, uh, Personally, I have a few adventures that I'd like to see, but I don't know exactly what kind of adventure you would like to see come from them, Mark. Oh, you know, <laughs> there's so much stuff you could do with Goten and Trunks. Like he said at the very beginning, the very first episode of Dragon Ball Super, I was on the sidelines, and I believe... Uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Super actually started before I actually started my channel, and if I had actually had my channel around that time, I would have said, man, this is the direction I want to see this story go. I don't necessarily want to overly focus on Goku and Vegeta, let alone that's exactly what we've gotten, but I didn't want to focus on just those two people. I wanted to see more side adventures, some fun interaction gimmicks, or just kind of childlike situations with Goten and Trunks, and we've gotten somewhat of that. You got the whole... Uh, Patapu arc you have that first episode of Dragon Ball Super that really shows that these kids are just still kids and they don't necessarily understand the world around them but they have these unbelievable pow powers that allow them to go around the world and just kind of interact with things in ways that us normal people you know like real people really can't do and it's just such an interesting concept but with that being said 
we never we never really got that. But I feel like Super has introduced a plethora of different situations in order to give them a way to express these two characters and give them certain things to do without actually giving Goku and Vegeta less spotlight than they already have or just kind of exploring the universe a little bit more without really kind of getting away from the entirety of the Dragon Ball story. The one thing I would like to do, see, and I've said it on my channel before, but I would really like to see whether they're stowaways or whether they're official recruitment kids, if they're just kids or grown up, be part of the Galactic Patrol with with uh, on the sidelines with Jocko being their their boss at the same time and also maybe even tights coming in as the bulma like smart aleck uh overly intelligent character who's always working on all the gal gadgets and everything else like that and just those four people going off and doing their own thing i know it's not necessarily a trunks and goten like adventure but i think that that'd be pretty cool one of the reasons i think is because Goten and Trunks, unlike most other people in the other universes, or even Universe 7, are incredibly strong, regardless of whether they're actually training or getting stronger at any given point. The mere fact that they're Super Saiyans at such a young age, they're probably stronger than most people in Universe 7. So using them as a comedic sense, where Jocko's trying to have peace and order, trying to do his job correctly, and at the same time, Goten and Trunks are just kids trying to have fun, but are also stronger than anyone they're actually coming up against, they act, they get into trouble because they're too strong, not because they're not strong enough to beat anybody. And it just has, it's so ripe for comedic potential that I honestly think that this would probably be the best way to utilize not only them, but some of the other people that we've seen in Dragon Ball Super get introduced. I also agree that we would have a fantastic time going along on the adventure of being a galactic patrolman because that's going to expand into the actual universe where we don't actually go we've been to like two maybe three planets in our universe in universe seven plus like the other world so like it'd be really cool to see them going to random places and i guess super has introduced a few more planets in their universe but going and seeing these random places where you have full creative potential to do whatever you want because like i said Time skips are amazing for that. As long as you don't break the rules that are already established with the characters, it doesn't matter. You're just adding something into the story, a little segment, a little snippet, and a lot of these people who can mock and imitate Toriyama do so pretty well. And, and I mean, he has been happy with the things that have been put out without his name on it that represent his brand. So things like that would be very interesting to see. And... After seeing a Galactic Patrol style manga, I do, and this would be an all complete gag manga. There would, I, I, I kind of have an idea for it. Uh, I've been thinking about it just, just minorly uh, from a conversation I had off air with Mark. And uh, I would like to see not only the adventures of Goten and Trunks, but some snippet inside that run of uh, the adventure of Gotenks, because we see how smart Alec and we see how childish he acts i mean we we said in a lot of fusions the the like melding and fighting of two minds into one but it, it would be really funny to see a manga where he's probably in between the boo segments and like being in the room of spirit and time 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 spots like that we could actually like see and it'd be really funny where it would be like them thinking of their moves or them training or them learning how to do things because you you can have witty banter between the two when they're not fused and when they are fused we can see them like get right to the punch and right before they're about to punch like it just cuts it and i mean i know that there are other pieces of dragon ball like literature that do do that but it would be very interesting to see that done with their character like they're just about to punch boo and then the chapter's done so it's just you don't get to see the fight you just get to see the lead up and i think that would be a, a good way to make a gag manga out of that character mm-hmm no, I, I completely understand where you're coming from that. And, like, yeah, when you use Goten and Trunks, regardless of how old they get, I feel like the way that you have to use them almost entirely is that because their dads are still really relevant, because Goku and Vegeta are always going to take the dramatic aspect of the show away from them or any side story or anything else like that, I mean, as soon as the Patafu arc became too much for them to handle, their dads came in and, 
and kind of took over. We do know how this story or how the people who create Dragon Ball see these characters. They are joke characters. Even when they were in their most serious situation, they were joke characters with the whole Gotenks thing. So it only makes sense to me to utilize these characters as comic relief and utilize them when, like I said earlier, even if they are stronger than the potential enemy that they ever face, they're still kind of bumbling about and at the same time you can have other people, whether it's Bra or Marin or Pan or Oob or Jocko, Tights, any of these other people that we've been introduced to in, in Dragon Ball and utilize them to a point where they're, they're the ones freaking out but Goten and Trunks are just kind of bumbling about even though they can actually end the fight immediately. Yeah, they're probably just sitting in the back, you know, writing down ideas for, you know, move names and special <laughs> attacks and like, Goten, you're, you got to remember that the legs work this way. No, I, I, that's how I always feel the fusion works is just like the Mighty Mask thing. Like Trunks in the brain is like yelling at Goten, like work the feet. Now start punching with the left hand, like stuff like that. I just, I feel like that that's a good way to like, you know, they could even show that inside the brain. Now that may be something weird for them, but that would be something that would be interesting. And then, like I said, I would pay money to see something that's a little bit different and a little bit more gaggy. But with the two full blooded signs that we see in the series, we see a hatred at the beginning through Vegeta's eyes towards Goku or Kakarot and how he doesn't feel that Kakarot deserves everything that he has, low class, blah, 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 blah. You guys know the story. You're watching the channel. You guys know Dragon Ball. But there's a rivalry that is built through this whole show that many, many deep moments come out of in the series. And I know off air, me and Mark were talking, and he thought of a not 100% copy and paste, but most definitely a solid little run that he believes that can happen between Gohan and Trunks if you want to talk about that, Mark. Well, I mean, when you look at it from the aspect of Goku and Vegeta and how their rivalry really pushes them forward, we have really the same thing, and they introduced it in the Boo Saga with Goten and Trunks that although they're really best friends, they fight together, they kind of train together, they also have this massive competing aspect like they want to be better than the other and we saw it a lot in the fight that we got from them in the boo arc and one of the things i think about that arc is that that is the best one of the best fights that we get in that arc and it's really weird considering the fact that we also get goku versus vegeta round two we get you know ultimate gohan versus super boo or boo tanks or something or kid boo versus goku and vegeta super saiyan 2 and super saiyan 3 it just works in so many levels but at the same time Goten and Trunks have such an interesting, I guess, I guess relationship because not only are they their, they are their father's children, where they are competing in order to see who's best. They have that say and pride in them, but they're also best friends. And I think that that's something that could be explored in great detail going forward if they ever gave these two any type of spotlight. Because if we don't necessarily see them interacting in the same way, if we never see them actually fighting each other or competing against each other in any real way and all we get to see is these kind of humorous episodes where they're just buddy buddy then they kind of lose that pride of the saiyans that goku and vegeta both have they kind of lose that aspect that goku and vegeta have that we saw that they had at the very beginning when they were first introduced and i think that that's a huge problem for the series it would be really cool for them to compete train and see who's better than each other kind of uh, I would attribute it to more so instead of Goku and Vegeta, although it kind of works for Goku and Vegeta now too, but the ending of Rocky 3 where you have Apollo and Rocky going into the ring for the third time, just going to fight as friends, but also wanting to make sure that I'm still better than you or you're not better than me or something else like that, it'd be great. Yeah, so with that, I want you guys to go over to the link in the description hit that link, go to Mark's channel. You know you're going to be satisfied. If you haven't already, which most of you probably are, you're going to see great quality content. Again, like I said, come from his channel every day. He works very hard to put out something every single day with no problem. Now, I say no problem. I know there's been some hiccups, but this man puts out stuff 
that is awesome and that a lot of unique content that you're not going to see on other people's channels. Uh, I also want you guys to go to the comment section below and tell me your guys' thoughts on side stories with Goten and Trunks or anything else that you want to see. There's That's what the comment section's for. It's for you guys to get in touch with me and we can have witty banter behind, you know, these side story ideas. I also want you guys to like the video if you enjoyed it. Remember to go down to my link below and hit sub if you haven't for more quality content from myself. Uh, I've really been striving to put out as much content as I can per week to actually put a good smile on your face and bring you guys something that you may not be seeing from other people. But with that said, I want you guys to have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time.